guess what? There's a lot more we can do with SiteGround as well and other hosting companies. I told you when you bought your domain, do not get your email there because nine times out of 10, your hosting company already provides the provision for you to have an email. And really you want the email to be connected to your, um, your domain name, which is why some people make the mistake of buying something when they register the domain name. Don't do that, Re please remember that. When we go back into SiteGround, we have an option called email. When I click that, I can click accounts and I can now create an email address. So I'm gonna create one that says help. Contact, info, Imran, whatever you wanna have in there. You know, keep it reasonably good. Remember your brand, your company, you can set up multiple emails. So if I click create now, obviously pick a password as well for that email account and keep it safe and secure. So help at websquadron.co.uk will be created. And once it's created, I can then access that email via um, down here. There will be an address that I can use over here, which will be logged into webmail. And that will take me to Roundcube, a server where I can access my emails, delete, send, whatever. But you can also go to mail configuration and that will give me the inbox server, the outbox server, the port, the IMAP, whatever I need. So on my uh, iPhone, my MacBook, my PC, whatever I want, Outlook, or however you access your emails, you can add those details in, you know, when you add an email account. And I can now access those emails on the go, on my smartphone, wherever I am. So I'm not restricted to just using it on a computer screen. And what you can also do is forwarders. So let's close that. So what I can also do is I can also say any emails that are sent to help at websquadron.co.uk, I want them to also go to a secondary email address. So maybe you haven't set this up yet on your phone for whatever reason, but you want to know whenever an email comes in to a certain address, so you get it to forward it to your Gmail account. Obviously when it goes to your Gmail account, if you reply from there, it's gonna reply from your Gmail, but at least you now know I've got an email waiting for me. So now you can either log into the account using the computer or the round cube address here, or you can, if you've installed it on your phone or wherever, you will just activate it there anyway. Again, they're dead simple. And it now means that you have got email accounts set up for your domain name. Bear in mind though, that if you have, if you use your email account a lot, okay, and you, let me just go to accounts, here we go. If you're using your accounts a lot, okay, you're sending, you're receiving emails, attachments, eventually you're gonna start to eat into your 512 megabytes per email account, okay? Per email account, you get 512. If you hit that limit, at some point you won't start receiving emails. So be careful, delete deleted items. You know, when you got lots of sent items, if you don't need them, delete them, keep, keep your inbox tidy but you can also increase your quota. So when you go to change quota, I could say, right, I'm gonna increase this to be um, two gigabytes, say, so I could go to 2000 megabytes, whatever, I'm gonna leave it as 600 for now, okay? So you can increase that, but if you've got lots of mailboxes, just just, just, just be a bit, you know, careful with um, what you're doing and um, just, just ugh, I'm not saying this right, am I? Just be mindful and keep your inboxes clean. <laughs>